So in the early 90s, I wrote a book called A Taste for the Seasons, and um, it had been professionally edited, and it went on the publication routes to try to see if somebody would pick it up. Um, after many rejections, I finally got a message from my editor that a company in England was interested in publishing the book, and it was between this book and one other, and the other one won out. Um, after that, that was kind of the straw that you know broke the camel's back, so to speak, and I gave up on um, trying to get it published, and I just mentally had enough and um, was ready to move on with my life, and that was no longer a part of it. So, um, while doing some cleaning in my room this past week, I found a copy of the book, which I didn't, I mean, I knew it existed, but I had forgotten about it. So then, with all the... Um, uploads I've been doing on YouTube, I decided that I might be interested in doing like a live reading once a week. Um, the book's 10 chapters long, so in, in 10 weeks I could have it read and um, you know, maybe see if people will enjoy it or whatever. Um, so that's something I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and start. And um, right now I'm going to read a short synopsis of the book. And it goes like this. Centuries ago, before the dawn of man, Beelzebub was the Lord's private attendant. He noticed that the Lord had bestowed to his children every craving except the gift of knowledge. Beelzebub understood that with knowledge came freedom, so he questioned the Lord about his philosophies. The Lord responded by creating the earth, a testing grounds to see if the children could survive on their own. Neither was to interfere with the test. But when Beelzebub did intrude, he was banished to earth, sentenced to spend his existence among the mortals until the test culminated. Now Armageddon, the final conquest prophesied in the Bible, is at hand. God has journeyed from the heavens to rid the earth of all wickedness and corruption. He is prepared to lead the four horsemen Uh, in battle against the fallen children of earth. But first, man's quest for fulfillment, love, sex, money, and murder are debated under the microsco microscopic view of the Lord and Beelzebub. Is mankind doomed? Will God destroy his greatest creation? Or can a fallen angel prove that man's desires are justified? What lies within is a cross-section of nature that exposes each facet of humanity. It is about who we are and what we are, but will it be enough to save us? And that's all I have right now. Thanks for checking it out, and I will catch you later.